Hello there, this is Drunks for you and Nerdy Geeky, depending on where you're watching this from, um, and I'm here to talk to you about the model of Norska of the Valley of the Wind um, on her glider with the Swirl Fox on her shoulder. Um, uh, in part one, I discussed uh, what's in the box uh, and how maybe we uh, would go about building it. So anyway, I have built it and I have painted it, and um, I'm sorry for my camera quality that it doesn't like to focus on things close to it, but here it is. Here she is on a glider. And I will um, I will put some pictures up at the end, some more clear pictures for you to have a look at. Um, because this is, it won't, but there you go. I know, I'm sorry about the blur. I've not got very good, I'm just using the webcam, that's the problem. Um, and obviously a little squirrel fox there. Um, she's not tied down to the glider, so I am going to take her off, because uh, she's a little bit wobbly. Anyway, I'll talk about Norska first, because I'm really happy the way this turned out. I had to mix a lot of the paint myself. Um, I've mixed the, the two blues, I actually mixed the pants. The only thing I haven't mixed really is the brown and the squirrel fox. Um, I mixed, uh, the pants is just uh, Tammy of Flesh, uh, but I've, wa I've whitened it down a lot to make sort of like a light tan. Um, her face, I haven't actually used straight flesh. I've actually, I don't know if you know what the flesh looks like, but flesh is actually quite dark. Um, so I've uh, whitened that down a little bit as well. Uh, blue, whitened down, both both blues are whitened down from the same blue, just whitened down one more than the other. I'm really happy how they came out with them. Pretty much bang on. Um, the green, I couldn't get the Tamiya green uh, in the shop local for me, so I used the um, Rebel Emerald. Um, so yeah, and the brown is just a reddish brown. I used the same brown for her hair and her eyebrows and her boots and the weapons and that on the glider. So um, the Squirrel Fox is like a, a Tamiya yellow green, and then I've used brown. I'm sorry that you can't see it, uh, but I will put pictures so you can see it better. Um, I've done little extra bits that you might not be able to see. I'll put four little red dots on a belt. I've um, put the shells. She's got uh, rifle shells, three on each part of her chest. And I put the gold and the red gold at the top, red at the bottom. You can see the red at the bottom. You can, might just be able to see the gold at the top. Um, and I've um, I put a little red dot on her. You can't see it, but I, I put a little red dot on the sword where the jewel's supposed to be in, in her sword. I was really happy with that. I was really happy with all the colours that came out with North Screen. I, I tried to paint it as close as could. Um, I actually drew the eyebrows on at the end, paint the eyebrows on myself with a toothpick. I thought it was a lot easier than using a really, really tiny um, decal. Um, I did use the decal for the eyes though, because there's just no way that I could paint the eyes. They're so small. So, But I did use decal soft. Um, you can use decal soft, decal fix, any, anything like that. And I spread just a tiny, tiny bit on in the eye socket. I put the decal, the, the water slide transfer of her eye in the socket place. And then I put a little bit more decal soft on. And they're resting there perfectly. Absolutely fine. It just takes a gentle touch. But um, they actually look like they've been painted on now. They, they go really well. And I'm really happy with that. So I'm really, really happy with the way Norska's turned out. It's just, um, you got to paint it from scratch. And I really enjoyed it. Um, next is the glider. The glider's a lot easier because it's just white mostly. Um, I'm sorry if my panel lines seem a bit dire to people, they are something to be desired. Um, brown, and I've got this, they have sort of like a purpley blue on the box, I tried to go for that because I really like the look of that, and uh, purple blue there. Um, I basically got, um, I got a purple, it's actually really hard to find purple paint around here, so um, I got a rebel purple, I can't remember which shade it is, sorry, um, but I got a rebel purple and I tried lots of different things, right? adding white to the purple, and it says so dark, so I added a few drops of purple to white, and I got that colour, and I was really happy with it. So if you're looking for that colour, add the purple to the white, not the other way around, because purple stays really purple. Um, and I glued in the little gun and everything like that. Um, painted those just silver and brown as normal. Um, the only thing I've got to say is, uh, when you glue it together, it doesn't glue flush. And you can't really see it here, but there's like a seam here, and a seam here, you'll see it in the pictures at the end. Um, it's not supposed to be a seam, it's supposed to sit flush, but it doesn't um, because the wings at the bottom are like that, and the wings at the top are like that. So when you try and squash them together, they just start to switch out again. So I super glued them together, I held them together, I held them together for ages, it took me like two hours just to glue this together, I held them together, uh, and that's about as good as I got it. I, I, I put glue in the seams and then I painted over it, so it's, it's all fl it looks flush now. Um, you, can, you might be able to see there, it's not very it's not very flush there, but it's, it's hard to see on here, but I'll show you the pictures and see what you think. Um, and you've got the, got the flaps there. The flaps you can have to move, but they used to just go in so easily, and I, I got fed up and pulled them out, so I actually just glued them in like that, because that's how I'm going to leave them forever anyway. So, um, yeah, the glider's not very flush at all, um, which has really annoyed me, actually, that's, but other than that, 
it is fine. Um, it's quite sturdy. I actually uh, went to show my family that um, after I finished painting it because I was really happy with it. And I dropped it from about neck height. Um, it didn't glide. So it's not really a glider. Um, it didn't glide, but it didn't break. And I was quite happy about that. Norska flew off it, but that doesn't matter. You can glue Norska down to it if you want. But I'm not going to because I still need to... Um, I still need to varnish them, so I want to varnish them separately. Um, one last thing that I wasn't too happy about, um, Norska glues in great, you know, she's got just holes in her arms, and neck, and, uh, and her legs, and uh, um, uh, her legs have two um, two different size holes, so you can't get the legs the wrong way around, you know, it's 50-50 anyway, but um, you can't get the legs the wrong way around. So anyway, she, if you put her on the glider, she should be holding the glider nicely in this sort of position, and as you can see, she doesn't. Because her arms are too wide. Now I don't know if it's because because of painting or the glue or what, but you can sort of jig her around a little bit. She's not on the glider she's supposed to be because she falls off, which is why I'm, I think after I've lacked it, I probably will glue her on. Um, she sort of she can stand like that basically on the glider. She is standing on the glider, um, as you can. See, but it's not as perfect as you'd want it to be. Um, that's annoyed me a little bit because you can see her arms are just too wide. That could be because of the glue, but her arms have specific holes that they slot into at specific angles, so I don't know if that's the glue or that's just the way it's been made. Um, so if you do have this model and you haven't glued it together yet, make sure you line her up with this first and then glue it together. Um, and make sure you know she, she does sort of glue properly into place. Um, next time if I, if I ever build a, a model that has this sort of layout again, then I'll do that. Other than that, though, I'm really happy with how this turns out. Um, with this this model, this kind of model, it is all about to, the look of it is all about how you paint it. So you can put your own personal touch on it. You can make it look more realistic, more like the manga, more like the anime. I prefer the anime, so I've gone for the anime colours. Um, you can make it look more like the manga, and I've seen pictures of people who made it more like the manga and more realistic, and it looks amazing. If you if you can do that, it's great. It's a little stand. It's the little stand's not great. Uh, I'll be honest with you. It's really nice, like an afterthought. It just slots in like that and then rests on it and it's very easy for the glider just to slip out but it's okay it sits it's got some kind of stand to sit on and Norsica does rest on there she just hold on to the ropes and she's been on the shelf now and she doesn't fall off so overall for this kit considering it's an old kit of Bandai's and considering it's it's Studio Ghibli so that's a big plus because there's a Studio Ghibli model um, I would give this probably about 7.5, maybe 8 out of 10, simply because the pieces aren't flush when they stick together, and it's very easy for her not to be flush when I stick her together um, with, the, with the thing. So anyway, um, that's it really, that's all I've got to say about it. Um, feel free to leave a comment in the comments below. Um, just a quick note that I have actually changed my blog address from trunksview.blogspot.com to um, nerdy-geeky blogspot.com. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place, um, but I have now, so it's changed. I have changed them all on all the videos, and please see my blog in the description below. Um, please feel free to leave comments, and um, on my blog it has all my other social medias if you want to get in touch. If you want to ask about any other model, any other models behind me that you can see that you want a review of, I will endeavour to do all these reviews. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, this has been Northcote Part 2.